Welcome to Dandelion Cottage. Today is Watercolor Wednesday and I'm Leslie Watkins. Hello, I hope you're well. So the sunflowers are blooming like crazy even though it's kind of a rainy, gloomy day here today. But I just want to show you what I have. So this is the um, the sunflower lemon lemon gem, and this is actually a smaller one because I didn't want to bring one of the giant ones in because I don't have a lot of room here to show you. But this was just picked, and you can see what it looks like. And that's what we're going to be working on today. I know sunflowers are very popular. There's a lot of great sunflower stamps out there that you can get. Um, I'll mention a couple of them below after I do the video in case you'd like to look at those. And some of these stamp sets are actually line work so that you can actually use them as your preliminary drawing and just go straight to painting. So I'm going to use three colors today. I'll show you what they are. I've got yellow, red, and blue. This is just a little more of the same yellow over on this side so I can mix a green. And I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. So let's see, what's this? This looks good. I'm going to work a little bit bigger today because this is such a large flower. Let's just check that we're transmitting. Okay, so um, I've got a couple of brushes. I've got a number seven and a number four. These are sable brushes, pointed rounds. And I have off to the side here, I have a rag and some paper towels. And I've got my water and a sponge onto my uh, right side. I'm right handed. And so let's, I want to raise this, see if I can raise this flower up a little bit so I can see it better. Um, let me get this box. Oh, that's not a box. That's a something else. Okay, hang on just a second. Okay, so I found I found some little boxes and I'm just going to use those to raise my specimen up so it's a little more at eye well, it's not at eye level, but it's closer. I'm still looking down on it slightly. Okay, and I'll zoom you in so you can see better. And I'm going to do a, because it's got this big leaf jutting off to the right, I'm going to do a horizontal. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do a very light pencil drawing. And I'm, I'm just orienting the flower on the page. So these are just, I'm not, I'm not actually drawing the, the specimen, I'm just creating guidelines that will help me with the, with the placement once I begin painting. And this is, this is a great way to start a, a simple sketch. Obviously, we don't have enough time to do a, a full painting here, but you can certainly get the impression of the flower with just a few strokes. Now I'm just 
selecting a few of these prominent petals to make sure I have them in the right places, pointing in the right direction. So this is all about gesture because every, every flower has its own gesture. Okay, and then up here. There we go. I got a phone call from my neighbor yesterday. She was out walking through the fields and she met a little rooster. <laughs> she met a little bantam rooster and this adorable little guy just started following her. And so she struck up a conversation with him and he was very talkative. He talked the whole way and off they went. And, um, and she was worried about him, so she, she called me and told me where she was. I went and found them, and I brought him home, and he's absolutely adorable. So if there's anybody out there missing an adorable bantam rooster, let me know. I've named him Philippe Petit because he's very little, and he's, um, he's obviously been well taken care of because he's very friendly and he's in good shape. So um, I would love to see him get back home in case he has uh, friends who are missing him. So you can, if, uh, if, you, if you're in the neighborhood and you have an idea of where this guy might belong, please message me. All right, so I've got my sketch here. Bring it down a little bit more. So it's very light, just enough to, to guide me as I begin to paint. And now I'm going to take my big brush and I'm just going to um, moisten the area. I don't want it too wet. I'm, I'm not going to be painting wet and wet today, but I do want the paper to have a chance to get a little bit absorbent. Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to begin with the yellow. And just go over these these petals. So by the way, I have exciting news. For those of you who love watercolor, I've got a terrific opportunity for you. I'll put my website up on the screen here. So um, yesterday, registration opened for my free Zoom class that's coming up on September 17th at 12 noon. And this is a free class. It's being sponsored by the Scoville Memorial Library, which is a beautiful library here in the area. It's the oldest free library in the country, so it's got a fantastic history. And they've asked me to present a watercolor class for beginners that they're going to broadcast on Zoom to their, um, their following. So... Anybody can come. It's absolutely free, but you do have to register. And you can do that at my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com. Just go to the either the events page or the online watercolor classes page, and you will see something called Beautiful Watercolor Note Cards. And that's what you're looking for. So just go there, follow the, click on the buttons, follow the instructions, and get yourself registered. And I would, I'd love to have you there. Please tell your friends. We want to get as many people as possible for this event. And, uh, and what I'm going to be doing is just very simple, easy, ba basic strokes to get started. And, uh, and only three 
colors. So the basic strokes that you're going to learn are just some um, easy strokes that you can use to create floral decorations. So it could be a little floral wreath, it could be a swag or a bouquet or a single flower. There's going to be four different designs that I'll share with you. And anybody could do it. Um, also, also on that site will be the um, card kit. So if you don't have any supplies, you'll be able to get what you need just for this one class and uh, for a very reasonable price. So check that out. And if you already have supplies, then just, um, just come join us. But all that information is on the website. All right, so, so I've got my initial wash. So all, all we have here are just some, some tones. So I mixed up a little pale green. And then for the center of the flower, I'm using a kind of a, a violety color. And I can take a little bit... I can warm that up a little bit. There we go. And, uh, and so now I'm just going to start to add a little more color and let it get a little bit darker. I'm mixing the blue and the yellow together to make a darker green. I'm just gonna put a couple of strokes here and there. go. I can do the same thing with the flower petals. So I'm taking again a stronger yellow mixture. And really what I'm doing is I'm just I'm, I'm drawing with the brush. So while the, the paper is still damp, the color will spread so I can use that to my advantage by just getting this kind of a nice soft shadow on there and then as the paper dries I'll be able to get more detail. So we're still just getting this started. And I'm going to switch to my smaller brush. And, um, and just begin to get some of the, these creases on the petals. These little ruffles and, and folds. Just checking to see if anybody's out there. Hi, Carol. Carol from Quebec. Nice to see you there. And then in the in the center of the flower, I'm going to take a darker mixture. And I'm just taking some um, red and blue with a little bit of yellow to get a, a kind of a rich shadow tone. And in the center of the flower, we have this wonderful dark spot. 
just like that. And then this outer part is sort of a dome. It's got a lot of form to it. And it also has a lot of, you know, this is the seed head, so it's, there's a lot of action going on in here. There we go. All right, so I think um, you can see it's beginning to look like a sunflower. So now, for the remainder of the painting, is just fine-tuning and, and do a little refining. It's uh, a lot of close observation. I always recommend the best thing you can do is to paint from life. Don't, don't paint from photographs unless you there's no way that you can get in front of that subject that you're wishing to paint. But, it, but go to the garden, go to the flower shop, go to the grocery store, <laughs> get out your, your broccoli and your onions or whatever, and just start painting them. And uh, you will learn so much. I currently have a, a watercolor course going on. We're just coming to the end of it. It's a six week course and I will be offering it again in January. So if, you, if you're interested in learning a lot more about watercolor, this is, this is the full course where I talk about value, color mixing, design, composition, perspective. So everything you need to know to get off to a good start. And, uh, and again, that, that will be starting up again in January of 2021, which is not so far away. It sounds like, it sounds like a far way away, but it's just around the corner. So you can start getting ready for that now. Okay, I'm going to go back into my petals and see if they're dry enough to hold more detail. So let's see, I think this looks pretty dry over here. And I'm just going to begin to um, separate them a little bit now. Very easy, just like that. Nothing to it, folks. And you can do this. It just, uh, you know, it really helps if you have somebody to show you the way. It'll help save a lot of time as you begin your creative journey. And I'd be delighted to have you do that with me. So I'm looking, I'm looking at my flower a little more closely now. I'm, I'm starting to pay attention and carefully trying to, you know, get these petals pointing in the in the right direction, and I'm beginning to model them. I'm working from light to dark. And I'm not, you know, this is, I'm using the flower for reference. So I can get the, the gesture and the character of the flower. I can get the color. Um, but I'm not, this is not a, an exact copy. You know, I'm not trying to illustrate this exact specimen. I'm, I'm more, much more interested in, in getting a impression that just reads as sunflower. Could use a little more color over here on this leaf. There we go. 
All right, so at this point, I'd like to add um, start start adding some more darks because it's a little pale, which is fine. That's that's how you want it to be as you start as you start out because you want to be able to have the ability to change things if if it's not quite the way you want it to be. All right, and I can I can actually let me take I'm going to take my yellow mixture. And I'm adding some red to it so I get a, a nice orange tone. And I'm just going to put a couple of strokes here and there. There we go. And I want to get back to the center of the flower. I don't know if you can hear the dog, but I, it sounds like I'm getting a delivery out there, which is exciting because I'm expecting a nice box to uh, get ready for the, for the upcoming class. So that could be our supplies. Um, if, you're, if you're someone who um, does not have a lot of materials and you'd like to participate with that beautiful note card class, I'm also going to be putting together card kits. And in those card kits, you will get everything that you need to create four note cards, actually eight note cards of four designs. And, um, and all the information for that is also on that registration form. So even if you don't have any materials, but you'd like to make the cards along with me, you'll have that option to be able to do that. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just, I'm just putting some little strokes here to indicate the texture because there's a lot of seeds beginning to develop in this seed head. And um, I'm just, just tapping my brush making these little strokes, paying attention to the direction that these seeds are being formed. All right, so that's starting to look like a sunflower, I think. To make this a little bit darker it's very dark in here. There we go. Maybe under here. All right, so let's um, let's give these leaves a little bit of attention. There are a couple of veins that we can pull out. So it's dry enough now, I can go on either side of that vein, put a couple of strokes, and then just let that fade out. I get a nice, rich, dark accent under here where we're the leaf disappears under the flower. And the same on this one. A little spot here. And these leaves are very floppy, very large and floppy. And this is, this edge is just curling under, away from us. And 
And if you look very closely on the leaf edge, you'll see that it has a little serrated texture. So I can just put a couple of strokes to pick up on that. Here and there. All right, and that is the beginning of a nice little sunflower study. So at this stage, all I would do is just sort of pick out a couple of the, the ruffles on these petals, just to give it a little more of that look. And these are kind of disappearing, so I want to make sure that they don't. Okay, so I think I think that's a uh, enough for now. That will keep you busy for a while. If you decide to follow along or, or go and get your own sunflower and paint one, please post it below. I'd love to see how you do. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer. And again, that um, get that up there. That website again. If you're interested in attending the free Zoom watercolor class called Beautiful Watercolor Note Cards, all the information is on my website. And tell your friends. Want to get as many people as possible to. Uh, get this opportunity for free. And I think the last one more thing I want to do here, I, so, so the sunflower is looking a little pale, the painting, in comparison to my specimen. So I'm just going to take a little yellow, a little extra yellow, and give it a, a little shot of color here. And that'll help to bring that to life. There you go. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back on Saturday with Paper Crafting Saturday live at 12 noon. Hope to see you then. Stay well, stay creative, and be happy.